we have a shared experience of being at St. Mary's College, but we also have a shared experience of being at St. Mary's College with Brother Mel Anderson. Brother Mel has really made the current St. Mary's College what it is today. You can't speak of the history of the college without speaking of Brother Mel and how long he was president there. Brother Mel sort of epitomizes St. Mary's College. He's kind of the, he's, he's, he's kind of the guy. I'd say in 155 years of history at the college, I can't think of anyone who had a larger impact on St. Mary's. You know, Brother Mel's name will go in that category of university presidents because of the tenure, the accomplishment, the achievement, and I think because he was a defender of his faith in terms of being a brother on campus. I'll always remember that first faculty meeting when he stood up in front of the faculty with that fiery red hair almost aflame telling us what was going to happen. He was forthright, he was fair. When he had to be tough, he was tough, but he held it together in a, in a very a remarkable way. He's got a kindness to him. He's just never too important. He's never too busy to connect with the students. Relationship and presence is absolutely critical. And Mel is at his heart and in all he does, a relational person. Whether at athletic events or the board meetings around the campus, he was ever present. You can't build a college without building a community. And I think that's what he was so brilliant at. He was president of the college, but he lived in the residence halls with the students. For the president of the college to be, you know, living in the dorms with the, that's unheard of. Mel has always been uh, very concerned about the uh, Messiah tradition, always been very concerned about the church. He wasn't uh, saying the rosary as he walked around the uh, quad or anything like that, but he was always, you could always see a difference. That has certainly influenced me and I think it's influenced many others. The Lasallian concept of meeting students where they were at can be looked at um, when he brought women on campus. At the time, women weren't admitted, so it was under Brother Mel's reign that women were finally admitted to the college, which I'd like to personally thank him for. With Brother Mel's legacy, I believe, is, is the physical plant of the college, the beautiful buildings, the harmony of the buildings. Many schools go off in different directions and end up with an eclectic collection of buildings, but St. Mary's is a very cohesive campus. He was hands-on. I mean, he was an electrician, carpenter, stage director. Brother Mel should have worked for Gelati Construction. He loved building. He's a builder. And that's great because without building, there would have been no today. At the core, he's a teacher. And I didn't ever have him in the classroom as a teacher, but I had him as a teacher uh, all my adult life. One night, it was uh, after the St. Mary's Santa Clara basketball game. We had won the game, so there was partying and revel making um, throughout the evening. It was quite a night. So here I was with my wife and brother Mel and the other dorm counselors getting the students back into their rooms and all. So about 5.30 in the morning, my daughter wakes up and it was, I was starting to walk her and kind of calm her down a little bit. And I happened to look out my window on the fourth floor of Augustine at this beautiful fog shrouded morning We're in the middle of the quad there. And it was just, just this beautiful pastoral sight. And lo and behold, who do I see but Brother Mel dressed up to go to morning mass with a large garbage bag picking up all of the garbage and the beer bottles and everything on in the quad there. And again, another quiet, inspirational teaching moment. Brother Mel's dedication to the college shows itself in uh, not just what he does for the college, but as he reaches out to other people. Again, from building campaigns to, you know, to adding facilities here, um, to growing the academic uh, uh, programming here at St. Mary's, Brother Mel was here for the start of it you know, for the start of it all. And he, uh, he really moved the ball forward. And I, I, think, I think his legacy will be to see the college move forward based on the things that he started and the foundation that he set. So Brother Mel, thank you for everything that you've done. For all the years of uh, your presence in my life. I certainly do wish to express my great gratitude. 
for all that you've shared of yourself with, with me, but with all of the students that have gone through St. Mary's. Your wisdom and your guidance were very important, and your patience, because I know I'm a little tough artichoke to deal with once in a while, so. I want to congratulate you on your 90th birthday. 90 trips around the sun. I'd like to wish you the happiest of happy birthdays. Thank you for everything and happy 90th birthday.